What's up, y'all? We back with another episode. Um, Howdy. Hi. I'm not gonna lie. That this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be hilarious, actually. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. It's gonna be funny. Get into it. Alright, we in the courtroom. Oh my goodness, is that Edwin? Yeah, he was standing there kind of thick, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, why are you standing there like that? Oh, this is me. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I'm over here dancing. I don't know if y'all can't see it, but I'm dancing. <laughs> That's my nigga right there. I'm gonna have of weakness today, or he'll be he'll be on me in an instant. Wait, you want to pause on that, bro? No, he does not. <laughs> but Mr. Edgeworth, give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we have a witness that said they saw her do it. He looks like he belongs on yeah. Vampire Diaries. The prosecution That's sees crazy. no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. He's a goat. I'm not hearing this. I see. <laughs> no. That's crazy. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Then let's begin. If I may call our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls to the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> he be breathing heavy, don't he? Witness, please state he your name like and to the court. What? What'd you say for us? I said he looked like he breathed heavy. Oh. <laughs> Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir. <laughs> My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. Good lord. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. Look at him breathing heavy like that. You can't breathe. Detective Gumption, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found in the window. That right there. That is a weird I was body. thinking that Whoa. looked phallic. I think it's her standing. Like, it's like a top shot from when she's like standing with her legs out. And the and cause the of death. Oh, oh, That's oh, me. Oh, oh. That's me. And the cause of death. I'll be cutting y'all off all the time. I'm sorry. Loss of blood during. <laughs> Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. <laughs> the murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. What that mean? That sounds mighty sexist, come That's to. what I'm saying. Like, the court accepts the statue into evidence. He seems sexist. He's Still really not, though. Everybody here seemed pretty high, except for, like, a few instances. But nobody seemed like... Never mind. I'm not even going to get there. I'll get there when we get there. That's an off-camera thing. Now, detective... Yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Did he? Did he really? Hmm. Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to court about this hard evidence. All right. All right. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Faye, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Faye. Why, we had a witness a, we, we had a witness account describing her. Oh yeah, that's April May. That's James. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Hmm. The very moment, you say. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? 
I didn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Oh, your hoe, James. Whoops. Mac. Yeah. Hey, mine just threw something at me. What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the, and press the witness on every detail. Okay, okay. Oh, you to start pressing people. The witness always mm -hmm. slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times, so we're pretty much lying. Okay, okay. No, we're not okay. lying. We're forcing them to lie. Okay, okay. No, we're not. We're we're not lying. Other people be I should lying. Should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's trip. It's other people that be lying. We just expose them for lying. Something the matter? Hmm. No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross examination. So we can press things now. Anything you want more details on, I can press things for y'all now. There are two people there already. Oh, thank you. What, Jinx? I said thank you. Bill's <laughs> leg on my side and played again. Well, immediately arrested my effect. Okay. Okay. So can we call that witness or nah? I mean, April May is a witness. They've testified to that. This is just the first witness. But oh, okay. Yeah. But we can press things now. Like any sentence that sounds like you need more details. Like it's kind of vague or something. Oh, okay. Well, then I know immediately. Go back and I immediately arrested this by your face. Why is that? What's your reason? Ah, okay, 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 okay. Hmm. That this is a this is in the testimony. We're back to the testimony. Ah, okay. All right. We had a witness describe. We had a witness account describe it. Hold on, just a second. Oh, this is you, I guess. Hold on. Hold on, just one second. Hold it right there, buddy. Y yeah? If I heard correctly, and don't quote me on this because my ears are round like that, it's kind of small. <laughs> you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? D did I say that? M me? <laughs> That's how I'd be at work, too. I'd be like, did I do that? Did I do Did that? I do that? <laughs> no, but like... Oh, no, they all said he said it. They're like, you said it! Exactly what about this suspicious woman in pink? <laughs> Pink's claim was hard evidence. Because that evidence is looking softer than... What? We'll wait. Miss May isn't suspicious. And she sure isn't pink, pal. Hold, hold on, bro. Wait. Do you know, how do you know what color she is? Well, I guess she is pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. This nigga tripping. Like, what? You all all over the place and stuff? Do you have any other evidence other than her claims? Um, uh, see what happened was. I guess pressing can have its advantages. Pressing is great. <laughs> it really is. That's your bread and butter. Yes. <sighs> Ain't no way. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. All right, so look. Look. After securing a suspect, I examined the I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. Uh -huh. These two people, I I found a little memo written on a piece of paper right next to the victim's corpse. You feel me? 
On it, the word Maya was clearly written in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. How you like that? That's my hard evidence. About as hard as bull testicles. Okay. Hmm. Bull testicles are not hard. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, detective. Your Honor. Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Well, you see, what happened was is that, uh, I, I know, I'm real embarrassed. I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Hard evidence. Jinx, come on and contribute. We can press, we can also present when we see something suspicious. Oh, I guess we should look at our evidence and see what we what we have. Okay, wait, oh, I, yeah. I, I want to idea. point out something. What? Mm -hmm. It says this death was instantaneous. Yes. Yes, it does. So instantaneous. How'd she write oh, that's the actually note? A good point. But how'd she write the note if it was instantaneous? That is a good point, Jinx. That is a great point. I feel like we're gonna have to use that, like not this time, but later. I feel like there's gonna come into, there's gonna be a factor in play later. We have a cell phone conversation. It was that conversation they had about the clock and it not working and she got papers in it. And they was gonna get burgers that give her the evidence and stuff. We got some mm -hmm. broken glass. We got the finger okay. statue clock. Made by Larry Butts. Yeah, made by Larry. We got the wiretap. We got this receipt, but with the back of it saying Maya and blood, and the floor plans. But it's blank. Okay. Okay. Found the memo written on a piece of paper next to the spot. Okay. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. I don't know if you call that clearly, but I... Right. The lab results showed blood was the victim's. Okay, okay. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. All right. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. What if we press him on that right there? We can press, we can present. Doesn't really matter which. Well, it does, Detective because if we, get, if we get something wrong, we get points deducted. And the credibility- Detective Pick Gumshoe. There's points in this game? Do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name? Yeah, Jinx, there's a health bar at the top when we present, and if we get it wrong, it depletes a little bit. There's no way, bro, just said, sure, it happens all the time in books and movies. I swear to God, Ezra's probably be wanting to, like, square up with this nigga all the time. This isn't a movie, detective. Somebody's actually dead. Oh. Yeah, my sister. Yeah, dead. Dead as dirt. So Let's talk about reality, shall we? This isn't some video game, detective. <laughs> um, I guess I haven't heard of many cases. No, uh. Don't you find it a little odd that the victim would write down a name? Especially the name of her own sister? Ah, uh, yeah, actually, you got a point, pal. Uh. Oh. Oh, this is me. Stop right there. The witness opinion on the matter is irrelevant. Facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. The victim told us the name of her killer. Can I object that objection because like we're not sure that she's the killer. But his point is his job is to make like, you know, establish that the person we arrested did do it. Oh, okay. That's right. What he said. That's his whole testimony. There has to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Let's find it. There is a secure the suspect. I examined the scene of the crowd with my own eyes. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Jinx, did you find anything weird yourself? I mean, she did point something out. Yeah, but like... Is that gonna be a... Is that, is that gonna be a factor? I mean, he's telling us something different than the evidence we have. That is spitting. That is spitting. Hold on. That's literally all I have. right here. I don't know if you can see my mouse in the corner, but it's right there. Yeah. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, if we if we present evidence wrong, we get that depletes a little bit. And if it depletes all the way, we lose. Unfortunate. Did we go through all the- we did. And then my bad. Oh wait, you know what? Right there. Actually, right there. What? That's where we'd use the death thing. The, the... Oh. Oh. You good with that, Jinx? Or... I guess Before you are good dies, with that, because she's Jinx the one who pointed it out. Said, I... said, yeah, she died instantaneous. Yeah, Jinx pointed it out when he was talking. That's crazy. Yeah. Detective comes to you. I was just blinking. There's one thing I want to cl I want you to clarify for me here. You say the victim, Mia Fey, the dead sister, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Mia Fey. That's really what you were saying? What? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? It's literally what you said. Of course she wrote it. Who else could have... Who else could have... <laughs> You have it backwards, detective. Uh, backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This report from your department, detective, which is crazy. It's your department. How do you not know this? You wrote it. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. What? No butting your way out of this one, detective. Order. Order. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately would not have any time to write anything down. Are you sure? Mr. Wright. I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? When? It was the... I'm pretty sure it was the day like, of the murder, right? Wait, no, no, it was the day after the murder. Do hmm. you remember Jinx? <laughs> yeah, Jinx. No, I do not. I'm gonna assume the day after the murder. Like, were we in like jail the entire time? Um, <laughs> uh, maybe we might have been. Maybe we might have. Oh god, I'm scared now. I'm scared. We, we too. weren't getting any. We, nothing was gonna happen to us. Oh yeah, I know, but now I'm paranoid. Like it was the day. Oh, the day after the murder. The prosecutor's point being. That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. There's no way that you were holding evidence. That's illegal. Hold on. What? A second autopsy was report yesterday, or performed yesterday, at my request. You can't do that. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt force object, but there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. That's so specific, too. I received the results this morning. No way. There's no way. Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine the victim did have time to write Maya Faye. Or Maya. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. Hmm. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. It's illegal, but it's something up his sleeve. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? 
Nah, bro. Bro, a sham. Edgeworth, a whole sham. That's illegal. You cannot hold evidence as a lawyer. Hold on. He didn't know. Okay, so here's the thing. We'll talk about that later. But I will say that for you. Mr. Edgeworth? Like, I'm waiting for you to call me. Mr. Edgeworth? He... I've heard there's nothing you won't do to get your verdict. What reason could you possibly have had <clears throat> to request a second autopsy report? Oh, Mr. Wright, the defense will refrain from personal attacks on the prosecution. No matter, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, I don't give a shit what you gotta say about me, but, uh, the evidence is evidence. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court accepts this evidence. So now we got an updated autopsy report. Oh, well, Your Honor. No, I got a recross exam. That's crazy. Not necessarily. The evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Don't. Oh. This isn't good. The prosecution would like to call his next witness. Jinx. This poor innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Oh no. Let the witness Miss April May take the stand. <laughs> exactly what part of her is innocent? He's spitting. I'll be right back. I need like two seconds. I can't believe this. Like, look at Edgeworth's hairline. It's much better than Phoenix's. It is. Imagine all the hair gel he puts in his hair, though. Uh, That's why it's receding. It's about 25. About 25 percent. Your name, bottom. please. Yeah. April May at your service. <laughs> Already, really? Oh, man. Order. Bro is spitting. An introduction should not require a reaction from any crowd. The witness will refrain from wanton winking. Aww. Yes, your honor. This is not good. He's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Tell us where you were on September 5th when the murder occurred. Um, gee, I was... I was, like, in a hotel room? <laughs> Checking right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fan Co. Law Offices, correct? Mm, that's right, big boy. She better oh stop. Gosh. She better stop. I'm not having it. <laughs> that's my nigga. <laughs> Please pass the question to the court about what you saw. It was like nine o'clock at night. I looked up the window, you know. Right. And then, oh, well, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. Unfortunate. And the one attacking was the mousy little girl sitting in the defendant's chair. That's just rude. Then the woman like is dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and, and. She hit her. Unfortunate. The woman with the long hair. She kind of slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. <laughs> I'm out of man a chair for this woman. <laughs> well, Your Honor, 
I see. It is remarkably, remarkably solid testimony. I don't see the uh, trouble to witness. Wait, I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. Wait, 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 Your Honor. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross examination? What are you doing? I thought the witness's testimony right now was quite firm. Didn't you? Was that a pun or was I, must, that like... I, I read it that way too. I was like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. It Wright. sounded like it. It did though. I understand you were uh, Miss Mia Wright's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults and perfectly good testimonies. Now you're doing too much, sir. Hey, how dare you? I'm like, I'm not. I'm you're not, disrespecting a dead sister who's dead as you, dirt. Dead, six feet under, dead. Disrespectful, Frosty. I know. You need to fight him. Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Are we? Yeah, like what? That's our job. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> I don't want to go to jail for something I didn't do. Damn, Jinx just stays oh. in jail. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. If only because I have I, I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. Duh. Yeah. I mean, it's his job not to. She has to be. She has to have some kind of weakness. It's men. I... Very well. You may begin your cross examination. Do I have to read this part? No. No. All right. All right. Okay. Unfortunate. Wait, so what you do we have any evidence that could like, you know? Uh, can we him? check our, uh, can we check our check. evidence? Yeah, can we check the time? It it's doesn't like have the time. PM. What? It did, it was uh, 9 p.m. It just, it's updated. The time and date were accurate. Okay. So can we check the floor plan? Yep. It's blank right now, but Mia was probably around, like, where that thin wall is where the mirror where it's supposed to be like a window i guess oh, okay like right here yeah, so, so okay if her body laid right there where the window is then that would be the only viewing spot she would have had mm -hmm. so the rest of the part is um, is obstructed to her so how could she possibly see her run my thing is like well, obviously I played, so never mind. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, we can press on statements that seem uh, suspicious. The woman like dodged to one side. The one attacking over the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Oh, I thought you. The woman like dodged to one side and ran away. Okay, okay, okay. I should have wrote down notes. The one attacking her with a mousy girl sitting. And then, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know. Hey, you know what? I want to press on that. Why were you looking out the window? No. Uh -oh. It's not gonna hurt us, Jinx. Uh, Why did you press... do that? Like pressing, for the most part, doesn't hurt. The game will explicitly huh? tell us when it'll why? be a problem. Like, why? What? I mean, why? What? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, um, gee. What? That's it? She can't get out of this question that easily. So I sort of, you know... Mm, I had a feeling. 
Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Hmm. Maybe I should press a little harder, harder on this one. I think you should. Alrighty. Probably. I don't know now. <laughs> Let's see how far I could run with this. Edgeworth's gonna stop him like mid sentence. Surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at the time of night. I. No. <sighs> Her eye twitching. Uh, I see. Mr. Right. right. I will not have you badgering my witness. Hold on. Badgering? What are you talking about? I insist on- you insist on needling her with these trivial questions. I really don't think it should be allowed. Yeah, yeah, stop it! The poor girl. Order! Mr. Wright, you have been warned. There's no way. Poor- poor- Girl, what about poor me? You, you looked out the oh window. My hair. <laughs> what did you see next? I'm telling you, this is the first. Edward won't be the first crazy. person we saw with an actual like, like haircut. I've seen niggas with that haircut. The point being, so we'll move along here, being a pet. The one attacking me was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Okay, okay, okay. The woman like dodged to one side and ran away. I kind of want to do the dodge to one side and ran away thing. You want to press on it, you said? Okay. The dodge to one side and ran away thing. Yeah, but like, do you want to press on it? Do you want to present evidence? Like, Frosty, do you want to press on and present evidence? Um, I don't know what evidence we have. Like, yeah, let's look the e through the evidence real quick. What, what, what we got? An autopsy report. Attorney badge. A cell phone conversation. Died from a blow by a object. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Yeah. A cell phone conversation. <laughs> okay. The glass. Mm -hmm. Remains of broken glass. Of a light stand broken beyond all recognition. Okay, the thinker statue. Mm -hmm. A murder weapon looks like a statue, but it's actually a clock. The wiretap is. I don't think that's important right now. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out my boy Harry Butts. I'm store receipt with letters written in blood on the back. A murder scene, the thing. Okay. I don't hmm. think we have any evidence for this, so I think we should just press on it. Yeah. Okay. She dodged. Dodged what? Well, the attack. Please continue your testimony. Well, that wouldn't that that I, that's unfortunate. Well, it is unfortunate. Poor woman just about to die for no reason and be dead. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> Oh, okay. yeah. Can you catch a hint? Oh, Wait, Lord. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ross is like, I am not ready for that. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I'm gonna look through. I'm gonna look through once more. Okay, then I'll go back to the beginning. Look out the window. Oh. Okay, do we know that she knows what the weapon was that she hit her with? I'll That's a good point. Yeah, I want to press on that. Hold on. How'd you know it was my client? I can't wait to upload this in all of its glory. Huh? Well, I... Gee. Ah, uh, crazy. First of all, she had a girl's physique. 
and secondly, she was she was small. Who else could it be but her? He has a point. Hmm. 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 Nah, she on cap. <laughs> you said she on cap. You know what? Even though, even though she may be right, she on cap. Okay. I do feel like this little bit. Oh God. Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks. <laughs> what? Objection. Miss May, I'm willing to bet that. You're lying. I'm like, either way, Loki, <laughs> one and two kind of correlate, but not at the same time. One correlates with the other, but the other does not. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? We're about to get objected in about a couple seconds. <laughs> Tell me, you look ready mistake. for me to say something, huh? Mm -hmm. Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? I'm sick of this game, Judge. Yes, what's the meaning? Somebody tell me, because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Okay. If you really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. That is true. Yeah. That was the first thing Jinx pointed out. Why she dressed like that? Yeah. Yay. It was religious. And I felt bad. Yeah, sit down. Sit down. Yeah, clown. Yeah. Yeah, clown. Yeah. No one wears clothes like that on a daily basis except her. She probably hot, stank, sweaty, smelly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, her sister died. Leave her alone. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. Was, that was I'm brutal. pretty sure that died. He talking about uh, somebody else's uh. hair? That is kind of rude. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. <laughs> However, the witness testimony mentions neither of these things. Not a single one. Not a single time. The testimony is bogus. <laughs> like her dead sister. Oh, my fault. Yeah. <laughs> but, but. Oh, we still, still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. Nah, She's wearing we the clothes we do now. We do know. We do know. She was, Your Honor. She was arrested now. like that. Yeah, she was arrested like that, Your Honor. I, I saw her. Yeah, me. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Rawr! What are you trying to say? You mean lawyer? That was musty. Mean. Musty. <laughs> I. I saw what I saw. Okay, Papa. I just didn't think that all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Yeah, I... Miss May. The court would like to remind you to please omit nothing from your testimony. Thank you, bald man. I'm sorry, Honor. Uh, I'll be a good girl, I promise. Yuck, <laughs> yuck. Your testimony again, if you would. Nice. Dang, I almost had it. Oh, I did see everything I did! Okay. The victim, the woman dodged first, and ran off to the right. Okay. The girl in the in the hip that's rude. The girl in the hippie that's clothes rude. ran after her. And she hit him with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That that clock. Um the kind of statue clock, the thinker, I think. What was it? Actually my report startled me a teeny. It absolutely startles me. I see. Only wish you've been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. Oh, Alright, we're on our head she, now. Yeah. We're on our head now. <laughs> How does she know what it was hit with? She was hit with. Because that's evidence. Why would she have access to that knowledge? Um, uh, probably because, like, uh, hypothetically, if she wasn't wrong, she would have seen the thing from, like, here. Yeah, true. 
Well, wait. But yeah, you're right. How could she tell from all the way over there? Yeah. Unless she got super eyes. Okay. That y'all are raised. Y'all are in the right direction. Uh -huh. How does she know yeah, what that was? Yeah, let me press. Let Yay! Me... Hey, let's press. Hold it. Uh, clock. Hmm. Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Literally the last one you did, Phoenix. Come on, bro. <laughs> well, though, don't look so sour, silly. You can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm onto something now. Yeah. Yeah. We pressed I, it. We pressed it. Okay, not only that, not only, like, how, how did she know it was a clock? It doesn't yeah. even look like a clock. See, it's pissing me off. So, like, what, what we're gonna have to do, what we're gonna have to do, uh -huh. we might have to present that evidence. We might have to present the evidence, Jinx. Okay. What you thinking? Yes. All right. Not All right. <laughs> how does the, 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 the clock thing. The thing how the fuck she know it? Yes. How the fuck she knew it was a clock? It doesn't even look like a clock. Yeah, even the evidence says it looks like a statue. So I press E? You should, what? We read, are we ready, Jinx? Press E? I thought you said fire pussy. <laughs> Why would I say that? <laughs> I don't know. We press E? We press an E? <laughs> are we going to press E? Wait, hold on. I saw a little, like, exclamation point by the health bar. Now I'm scared to do that. Well, it's gonna happen no matter what. <laughs> if we get it wrong... Yeah, the game has to be like, who hey, uh, likes to put pressure on you. That's how the game works, Jake. This game is not good for my mental health. And it's already okay. shit. <laughs> but it's press, so fun. Press E. I'm down. Yeah. I'm down for it. Okay, press E. Objection. Miss so May. Good. Miss April May. Like I said, when the music stops, y'all are right. What you just said right now was quite revealing. I practiced that one when in drama club. <laughs> Yo, listen. Jake, son. Are you gonna read? <laughs> I didn't read. She read I didn't it. hear she it. Read it. I did not hear it. You want me to read it again? Yes. <laughs> Revealing? Ooh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I regret asking. Naughty Mr. Lawyer. I regret asking. <laughs> you just said this statue of the thinker was a clock. I like the fact he ignored that. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at you, looking dumb, stupid, goofy. Another person in the much same position as you recently called this a clock, too. How do they know that? Exactly. And he was found guilty of murder. Yeah, yeah. Order, order. Nobody's going crazy. Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Bro said order, hold on. Ooh. <laughs> Shut your ass up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The her evidence ain't evidence it. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with the trivial concern. Yes. Yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. Objection. But the question but all the questions are all I have, Honor. I, I uh, this is all I can do. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. So, get off my nuts. I don't like his eyebrows. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Yeah, I'm on your head. Lex Luthor looking ass. <laughs> That's crazy. If you stop me there, the trial would be over. Huh? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How'd you know there was a clock? What? Th that's... Because I heard it? Yes, 
I heard the. I what? I heard it say the time. So you've been to the offices. The law office is a fango. N no. Hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it. You can't hear that, bitch. No. No. I heard it from no. the hotel room, hee <laughs> The law offices of Fanco, where the murder took place, is very close to the hotel. She could have easily heard the clock. Hmm. Well, Miss Wright, are you satisfied? No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because it couldn't have rung. We it have couldn't have rung. We have the proof. We have the she proof. She took the clockwork out. Your Honor, members of the court. It is inconceivable that the clock in question, that the clock in question rang. It's empty. Yep, she took out the components. That clock is missing its clockwork. How could you possibly? Just take a look right now. Yeah. Oh. See anything interesting, Your Honor? It says the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Mr. Wright, would you would you care to explain the court uh, to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat capper. Yeah. You are a cap. <laughs> yep. Fat! I didn't press that. That moved on. Well, Miss May. Tisk tisk. Nah, tisk tisk. Hmm? Quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. You knew the clock was empty somehow? Well, you I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty, as you say. It can't run. However, we must get. When was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there's no contradiction. Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been empty the night before might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright? We got the phone bill, bitch. The phone bill, I'm dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Yeah, removed? you're done. You're uh -huh. done. Impossible. You're done, brother. Hold on. We got yeah. the phone. I have proof. Idiot. Yeah, dummy, stupid. What? The vampire dies looking ass. Don't Jinx, don't do Listen that. Now. You who told me proof is I'm sorry, he's pissing me off. Well, I was listening. I read up, studied, worked hard, grinded, and now I'll show you the proof you like so much. I'm dead. Why is he pointing like the evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed is the, the, the phone. Cell phone. <laughs> Take that! <laughs> Take a look at this. Look. Hmm. Look at a very this. cute cell phone. Aw. Woohoo! You have a little girly phone. Wait, wait. This isn't my phone. Listen, 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 listen. Listen. Oh, this is the defendant's cell phone. And it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order, order. The defendant's oh cell phone? God, why are he looking like that? What? This wasn't it brought to my like attention. This? Perhaps oh, Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. See, he about to get somebody beat up. <laughs> Damn. He, he... Somebody about to get fired. Let's tell you. 
I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Yeah, somebody about to die. Don't feel bad. Somebody. Let's hear the conversation. Oh, Frosty about to die. That is lame. Beep. Your Honor. I think this makes it clear. The clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived to the hotel. <laughs> well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know the weapon was a clock? Mm -hmm. Well, well, isn't it obvious? I saw the bitch. I saw that clock before. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Larry made it. Nah, um, what nah. store was it in? It was made by someone, you dumb bimbo. I, I, I got to so many. Oops, I forgot. Yeah. So the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Oh, yeah, terrible memory. No, it does not. Does the defense Wait, have any no. to this? Time out. Pause real quick. Why do you say it was made since you were just in a case where it was made by someone, you dumb bald bitch? He, he honestly should be okay. disbarred. I'm not even going to lie. He be forgetting the Why lie. are you a judge? You, should be you shouldn't I'm be a disbarred. judge. You should be disbarred. I'm with you. Oh, I have an objection. Yeah. You need to yeah, put the beard hair, hair on much. your fucking head. Look like a damn Q-tip. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> insane. I'm so, so mad. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> Listen, we got objections. We got objections. Yeah. The witness claimed she had seen it before. But this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to the court. Well then, let's see it. You have it, you dumb bitch. He does not. <laughs> Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness had not seen the clock before. Pretty sure it's on the, uh, it's on the statue thing itself. It literally mm -hmm. says, like, it was made by Larry Butt. Yes, it does. <laughs> It came from the butts. That's crazy. Larry butts. Make Think of that. It's simple. Listen. The clock was never in any store ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. I don't. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. I, impossible! Everything is sold in stores! No, it's not. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. You think he's funny. <laughs> so corny. That's what I'm saying, like, he thought he was funny for that. Oh, excuses are not themselves. <laughs> Bruh, it wasn't funny! Stop! <laughs> He's trying. Ooh, I like uh -oh. it. Hmm? Ah! What is going on here? Whoa! I, 